Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. We had to do it. <laughs> she did it, so we're doing it, you guys. I, we have to talk about this. What is with the romper? You <laughs> oh boy, she is definitely trolling us at this point. So many of you said, Jen, get your eyeballs on this. Oh, don't worry, they are on this. So much and so little happening here. So little fabric so much, so many wrinkles to look, wrinkles to look at, you guys. She's definitely trolling us. She's definitely doing it on purpose. You know, it's funny to see all of her horrible fashion choices all in one outfit right here. We got uh, monochrome. We've got belted up under the boobs. We've got wrinkled, messy. She loves to roll up a suit jacket. I don't understand that. She... She messed this all up. This looks awful. Um, I think that the brown... Uh, this one might be the worst. No, I think the brown from that I reported on, what, yesterday, day before, whatever day. Uh, I think that was the worst because that color was so bad and that was so wrinkled. But this one, dare I say, maybe tied with or maybe just behind in second place. It's just so bad. And again, I'm wondering, is it so we'll talk about her? You know what? There's several things that I'm slightly obsessed with, and we'll get into it in this video. But something that keeps rolling around in my head, we keep reading these dumb articles about her and about how she's bringing back the TIG, you know, that sort of thing, because what other what other option does she have? Everything else has, spelled, <laughs> has uh, failed spectacularly, so why not try it with the TIG, right? But I never... I mean, I've kind of glanced at that stuff, but I didn't really deep dive the TIG. I mean, I won't give it the click, but when you Google it, you can see it says, uh, a hunger for food, travel, fashion, and beauty. So my question is, I, to me, in my opinion, she seems to be doing this on purpose. So we'll talk about her, but wouldn't you think about that? Like, hey, I'm launching a fashion website or something to do with fashion on this website. Maybe I should pay attention to fashion. Maybe I should present something that's not wrinkled and messy, right? I mean, wouldn't that, I, I just find the whole thing so weird. And speaking of weird, tell me you saw this photo right here. You guys, it looks like when I do those AI photos, this is, <laughs> this is so silly, okay. The AI photos always get it wrong and mess up the hands. Well, her, I mean, I'm not making fun of her hand. I'm just saying it looks a little crazy at this angle. The bronzer is insane. We'll get into that. Um, the staring at his nose, <laughs> it looks like it's AI generated. I mean, they are at this point caricatures of themselves and I'm finding it pretty funny. But yeah, I, I got a lot of comments on this outfit too, wearing complete white uh, pants and sweater vest, and yet I was sent this. Thank you so much, Michelle, for sending me this. Do you notice a certain orange hue <laughs> glowing here like a weaponized spray tan? Because I certainly do. And they sent me this. Now, to me, it looks like spray tanner that hasn't been applied properly, which, or bronzer, um, which I find, I will say she is brave. Her One of her favorite words to you, she's brave. Why? Because she's wearing all white with all this bronzer and spray tan. But back to this monstrosity here, and I'm not talking hairy, although, you know. Um, <laughs> it is, it's like she's in a contest with herself to see how bad this can look. And I, I still will never understand belting under the boobs like that in every single outfit. And, and especially in a romper, it just you look like a two-year-old. It doesn't make any sense. And again, I go back to rolling or I would say pushing up of the sleeves. Hello, Miami Vice. What is happening? It looks like you're playing dress up in your dad's jacket or something. I don't know. It's wild. It's so bad. And, and I find it so funny that she prides herself on fashion advice, apparently on the TIG. Yikes. But Invictus is winding down, and I feel like we probably have another speech or two out of, well, out of both of them. They love to do that. Um, but really, though, it's just been so disrespectful and rude, making it all about themselves. 
you know, so many of you put so many thoughtful comments uh, in my videos about, can you name a single athlete competing? Because they've made it all about themselves. Oh God, here she is celebrating Doofus's birthday. Why the skin tight pants? If you're already known to have thin legs, I don't, I don't understand that look at all, but, um, yikes. And is it just, I just, I don't understand pairing that top with the white pants. I don't know. Um, the, the, the colors are, they seem wrong together to me. You have like a summer thing on bottom and I don't know what's going on. A pizza restaurant on top. I'm not sure. But back to my point, they have made it all about themselves. They have made sure their photographer has gotten every shot of them like this. Um, clearly <laughs> terrible acting, bad put on displays and I, reporting on everything they're doing. And so my question to you all is what's going to happen next? They're coming back from Invictus and you know they're going to try to keep themselves in the headlines. And I wonder what what publicity stunt are they going to do next? We went through a million parking lots. Apparently we still are going through parking lots. Um, we've seen this latest movement of Megan drives a car. <laughs> like, okay, congratulations on that. Oh, that'll never not be funny to me. Imagine how what lame your life is if if your headline is you drove a car for the first time in years. That's pretty bad, right? The rest of us are doing it. Where are our prizes? I wonder if she'll talk about that on the TIG. She relates everything back to herself. So I'm like, let me tell you about the time I had to drive myself to in and out to get milkshakes. But what do you think will be next for these two? I do feel, so it's very reminiscent of their trip to Australia. And all I keep thinking of is how spectacularly wrong they got that. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just according to all the books we've read and everything we've heard from Lady C to Tom Bauer, etc., they thought they were rock stars on that Australia trip. There were a lot of photos like this, like hamming it up. And then we found out behind the scenes, it was just such a disaster. Everything, every bad behavior you can think of from allegations of throwing tea to tantrums to um, Harry got in on that action and was horrible to the press that were accompanying him on the trip. Just everything you could think of. And yet they thought they had done such a good job that that supposedly that's when they went back and <laughs> pitched the idea of themselves with a bigger role and you know if you believe it possibly like can we be co-prints you know <laughs> that sort of thing when the palace laughed them out of the room um so what i i feel like we're we're deja vu on that like they think they're doing such a good job while the rest of us are like what the hell what the hell are you wearing what the hell are you acting like why are you making this about them yourselves why are you giving speeches and, and this applies to both of them why wh why are they there um but i do know that like prince william has earthshot coming up uh in just a couple days he'll be in new york for earthshot summit and then in november the earthshot awards are coming up um that he and Catherine t attend and uh remember we got that beautiful green dress from Catherine last year whoo chills um so i just wonder they're going to have to do something to try to keep attention on themselves i wonder what that will be um we have King Charles's birthday in November. Scobie's book comes out in November. But uh, their favorite thing is try to overshadow the rest of the royal family. Good luck with that. Now, on a funny side note, the Sugars, they have been all over the comments. And I find it funny, their desperation, because they're trying to convince us. The comment I keep getting from them, I can immediately tell the Sugar is... She's winning, talking about Megan. I'm like, winning what? What are we winning? The wrinkled contest? What's going on? What contest is she winning? <laughs> because being a laughing stock is not winning. Making an event for wounded soldiers about yourself is not winning. Having people talk about your awful attitude is not winning. And then the other comment I keep getting, uh, this is just not from the sugars from you guys is um, you're PO'd as much as I am about the news reporting 
that the royal family is being less than supportive on these Invictus games. I said it before, I'll say it again. I just think they've moved on. I mean, nobody's got time for their shenanigans. They actually have real work that they're doing and they're trying to draw attention to good causes. And yet, meanwhile, you have Hank and Skank over here trying to draw attention to themselves. So I'm with you on the outrage. I think it's BS, but what else is new with the media, right? They'll, they'll report whatever the highest bidder says. So <laughs> at this point, in my opinion, they're, Harry and Meghan's people are, are working hard to get all the good press they can about them out there. And um, again, they have to always trash the royal family. So I think it's just a form of that. That's that's my opinion of what... So I'm going to leave it here. I'm interested to read your comments on this one. I got so many comments uh, just on that brown outfit video I did, as well as the D Diana cosplay video I did. Uh, you guys have been so funny. One of you said that she started to dress like Pee Wee Herman. Now, every time I see her, that's, I don't know why, that's what I think of. <laughs> that's my Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I'm doing the Pee Wee Herman dance. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. As they continue to do silly things like this, I will continue to mock the silly things. <sighs> now I got to go out and buy a romper and belt it under my boobs. I'll be back. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so much. I truly do. You guys are the best group of flockers. Hey, a huge thank you to everybody who was so kind to me and so positive about the, uh, the interview with Thomas Markle Jr. That meant, that it means so much to me. You guys took the time to write me how much you enjoyed the interview and I can't thank you enough for that. It, I'm just blown away. I really am. You guys are the best. Best group of flockers this lady goose could ask for. Hong Kong, everybody. Thank you for being here. And as always, just, you know, I hope you have the best day. I'm sending you hugs. And if you want to further support, definitely check out the merch. We got the Drunk Goose Club. Hong Kong, everybody. Um, I take notes in my Drunk Goose Club notebook. And I just... I. I smile every time I see it. I carry it with me to like write down notes and and stuff. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. So um, definitely check that stuff out. Recollections may vary. All the things or check out patreon.com. That's where you can find bonus deep dives. I do have a little extra bonus content from the Thomas Markle interview. It's nothing. I mean, all the juicy parts are on the main channel. So you're not really missing out, but it's just like behind the scenes stuff. So I got that and I got other stuff over there. So check that out. As always, thank you guys for being here. I hope you have the best day and I will talk to you again soon. Got to quit looking at this picture of Harry as I'm going to be sick. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.